Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, listening, this is Running on Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Well, as I have alluded to in previous productions, we are here in a, a mystical, fantastical, absolutely breathtaking setting where I stand actually I sit I'm, I'm sitting not, I'm not really standing I didn't mean to confuse anyone with that one I'm sitting at the divide between a wall and just this black void right here so that that I think if nothing else that should build record-breaking anticipation right there and you may thereafter inquire, what anticipation? What for? Why should I get so worked up? I'll tell you why. And after I tell you this statement, I, I really don't think you'll ever be able to look at it the same way. That's my personal discretion. That's what happened to me after I discovered this. So I, I need to give you fair warning here. So, take some deep breaths right now. Maybe take a little sip of water, you know? If you're saying, you know, just, just, just brace yourself. That's all that I'm saying, because this is going to be big. Get ready. Papa John's has a new pizza out. I'm just giving you a couple seconds for that to sink in. If that didn't do you in, this will. It's called their double cheeseburger pizza. Not just the single cheeseburger pizza, but the double cheeseburger pizza. Now if that was too much for you, and you're watching this from the grave now, I understand, and I just hope you can bear with me, because it's about to get even more intense. What does this pizza have on it? It's called the Double Cheeseburger Pizza. It's from the Papa of John's. It comes not with tomato sauce, not with marinara sauce, not with, as some people just call the nondescript red sauce. It doesn't come with pickle brine or garlic sauce or garlic knots. It comes with burger sauce. That's right, Papa's Burger Sauce. It's them to say that one with a straight face, is making a comeback. Uh, but anyway, it features burger sauce instead of tomato sauce. What the burger sauce is, no one knows. It features beef, tomatoes, dill pickles, and cheese, thereby uh, giving the illusion that perhaps it is to be a double cheeseburger on a pizza. Uh, so again, it features, of course, the beef, you know, like you'd have on a burger, tomatoes like you'd have on a burger, well, no, it, it depends, you know, this is assuming that you like tomatoes on your burger. Uh, the dill pickles, the cheese, no lettuce, no onion, no bacon. It's a basic pizza, but it's like a double cheeseburger, as they say. Uh, complete, again, with the substitution of, uh, Papa's, why, why, Papa's burger sauce instead of tomato sauce. Why that cracks me up, I, I, I don't know. Price for this, $11.77 after tax. Previously, it is around $11 price. Premium pizza at a premium price. I'm feeling like uh, living large today, so I'm going with a Coca-Cola, because why not? I'm rather parched. How about we go for the grand reveal? How about that? Comes in a large, you know, a large pizza, so could feed you, feed the boys, feed the family, feed whoever. Uh, comes in the large Papa John's box, and let's unbox it. Let's take a look at this pizza. This is my favorite part of it all. Well, probably second favorite part instead of actually eating it. And let us see our wares. All right, this is what it looks like. And there I am with the the uh, pizza, and uh, there we go. 
I mean, it is a large pizza. I would say it looks like a pretty complete pizza, wouldn't you? Looks like it has a cheese blend, perhaps, of, uh... I think that might actually be Papa's burger sauce mixed in there. You can hold it yourself. Uh, but you can see very, very clearly. And I'll just get that up close and personal view of it. This is when turning off the autofocus is best, so you get that high-res close-up of it. But, I mean, you can see all the toppings on it, you know? You can see the the beef, you can see the tomatoes and the dill pickles, and, uh, I mean, you can see it all. It is a pizza that really does have its share of toppings, going from the center to the crust. Uh, so, I mean, certainly they did, uh, they did, well, I think based on toppings, anyway, give you your money's worth. I guess the taste for this, again, they're just gonna be kind of going for the, uh, I guess like a double cheese burger. So, let's just go ahead and grab ourselves a slice here. And, of course, it does come with the obligatory garlic sauce and the water planets right there. So, it comes with both of those. And here's your close-up view. Sometimes in the low light, it doesn't focus the best, and that's all right. You know, it is what it is. But, yeah, there you can see the toppings. And they got the pickle action going. You can see, I mean, it is loaded. We'll just give it a try. The burger sauce is supposed to be zesty, perhaps with a little bit of a tang. I'm going to try it. I'll just let you know what it tastes like. I'll say, well, you know, does it taste like a, a double cheeseburger? We'll find out. Either way, the double cheeseburger pizza from Papa John's, it's going in. Right there at the crust, I know I, that is the, that's the burger sauce right there. See, that's not a additional cheese blend or anything. That instead is the, uh, the burger sauce. So you can see, just like any kind of pizza sauce, it just piles up there at the crust. I'm just tapping when I'm doing anything. Can't believe I wasted nine minutes already, so we're gonna make this one quick. How about that? Ingredient by ingredient, number one, first and foremost, does it taste like a double cheeseburger? It has characteristics that make it similar to a double cheeseburger, but it's a pizza. 
in no way, shape, or form is a pizza going to actually taste like a double cheeseburger, so do not expect as though you're eating a double cheeseburger from, insert name here, big box, big name fast food place. However, some characteristics are interesting. The beef is good. They did a good amount. There's a good amount of it. Tastes good. Uh, very flavorful. I like the addition of the beef. Good work on that. They did good. The tomatoes, good amount of that as well. The tomatoes are just very, very rich. Uh, flavorful. Works together well. Kind of really, it does work well with the beef and the cheese and it ties it all together. The pickles, I think there are a little too many pickles when it comes down to this. Uh, because the pickles really do have a certain tang to it, uh, which, granted, does work out well uh, in terms of tying everything together. However, there needs to be a certain balance. I think that there are just few too many pickles. Uh, perhaps if you do have the option for customization of this piece, I would personally suggest if they allow for there to be, when it comes down to the pickles, light or extra or regular, uh, I would recommend perhaps just saying maybe light pickles, uh, because too many of these pickles, just a tang that comes to it, offsets uh, some of the nicer flavors that the beef, cheese, and tomatoes uh, provide for you. So I would suggest going light on the pickles of this pizza. Gives you some much needed flavor, but if you get the standard amount, I think it's a little bit overboard. As for uh, Papa's burger sauce, uh, how is that? You know, what does it taste like? Well, it's 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 just kind of there. It has this creamy texture to it. I think they described it as zesty and tangy. I would not necessarily say that. It's it's just more like a, maybe a little bit of like a, a mayo esque sauce with this little bit of a, a, a tang to it, perhaps. But really, the only discernible characteristic was just its texture. It was just this creamy sauce. I think that if anything else. That was the most disappointing part of the whole pizza. I think it was pretty good overall. Again, a good amount of the beef, a good amount of those tomatoes, the cheese, it all blended together well, tastes really good. Dill pickles, you know, a little too much, but still, you know, it's bearable. The burger sauce, I'm just not a fan of the texture. Just the overall creaminess of that sauce, it just doesn't work with what they're trying to go for here. I would say that they just kind of need to revamp it and redo it. Look, you eat this pizza, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. Uh, it's not going to taste like a double cheeseburger in full. It certainly will be more of a unique creation, as Papa John's oftentimes goes about and does. Just keep that in mind. It's about $11.77. Out of 10, the rating for this, 7.1 out of 10, needs a little bit of improvement, uh, but still, for what it is, you can... Uh, I think you can get by with it, but it just needs a few little tweaks here. Perhaps they just revamp the burger sauce, make a few adjustments to it, uh, get it light on the pickles, but everything else uh, is on par with the Papa John standard. So that's why it has the rating that I gave it. And with that, that's all that I have for you. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Today's review is for the double cheeseburger pizza from Papa John's. Uh, well, with that being said, on a final note, you can check out my newest radio show tomorrow, Saturday, Thursday, I don't know, I'm, I'm just thinking about the weekend. Tomorrow, Saturday, uh, check it out on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash VORW underscore radio underscore INT. Until then, thank you, take care, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.